Hello everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I'm going to be showing you all of my doll rooms and shops or buildings. I did have a lot more than I do in this video, ex except I got rid of most of them just because they were taking up lots of space and I didn't really like them anymore because I made them such a long time ago. So I'm going to be showing you the doll rooms and buildings from oldest to newest from what I have. Okay guys, so this is my first doll building that I have in my collection that I still have around. It's not that great and I'm not too proud of it, but guys, please don't be discouraged. It does get so much better after this one. Um, basically, the buildings and rooms just get better as we go. So uh, this is only one that I'm just totally not loving anymore. But basically from the front, it says beauty salon. That is something I actually think is kind of cool how I put the words like beauty salon there. And I made this awning, which is pink and black. Honestly, I don't know any stores in real life that are like these crazy colors. The door is honestly huge. It's very wide. There is a little come in or open sign through the window here. So that means that we can head right inside. Oh boy. Okay, I know what you guys are all thinking, what is going on here? Honestly, I have no idea. Basically, it's just, it's a kind of a mess, but it's okay. I did try to fix it over the years, but um, as you can probably tell, I haven't used it in a long time. I mean, you can just look at the floor, like how dusty it is, like. For some reason, I thought it'd be cool to use this sparkly flooring. No idea why I would choose that. And then these crazy kind of pink polka dot patterns in the back and then some pink walls. So right when you come into the door, there's this little coat rack or like for purses, I guess, over here. And then I just hung this little coat on this little uh, hanger here. And then here we have the front table. I actually had to glue it down because I made it at such a weird angle that it was just gonna fall over if I didn't. I have this little laptop here. I guess a laptop is how they work out their money situation for payments, I don't even know. Then we get to the actual salon part. As you can probably already tell, everything is in such a small space. This is probably like a foot by a foot, so there is only one actual seating area. So the whole inspiration to make this store in the first place was actually this chair. This was like a gift given to me and I just thought it looked like a salon chair. And then this little table, which I guess is where they have all their stuff, like a hair dryer, some weird hair ironing thing. Some nail polishes over here that they all do actually, like the actual tops of them all... Oh. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, there we go. Some of them actually do come out and they're like kind of weird, but yeah. Eh. The mirror is a whole other story. There's actually like a different mirror behind that, but I was too lazy to take that off and put this one on. So I just stuck this one right on top. Over here is like, I don't even remember what these things are called, but to put over their clothes so the hair doesn't get all over them. I didn't even like bother to hem the edges. <laughs> and I just used this hair elastic. So yeah, that's just hanging right over here. And then we have this odd clock. And lastly, there's this little sink area, which I guess would be where they get their hair done. So there's this little sink. This is from a Barbie bathroom set or something. And then this is probably my favorite thing out of, out of this whole entire building. Everything else, I just, I don't even know what to say about it anymore. But I actually love this little shower, like top head thing, which is what they would use to rinse the doll's hair. I actually just really love it. And I think it's pretty, really cute. And I think it's, it's pretty realistic, honestly, for especially the skill level I was at at that point in my doll crafting life. <laughs> so this is the store overall. Set that up. Guys, I promise it gets better after this. The next one is a little bit better. The one after is better. It just keeps on getting better. So don't click away. I promise it gets better after this one, okay? And just letting you guys know throughout this video, if I criticize lots of my work, I'm not trying to be so negative. I'm just trying to point out things that I would do differently or things that I just don't really personally like about it. There might be things that you guys think are super cool about it or maybe you guys like it. And that's great. I'm just being honest and giving my honest opinion of these rooms that I've made. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't love this room as much as I love my new ones, but you know what? It's not that bad. Get up. 
Next, we have the doll grocery store. Honestly, I don't mind this store and I still keep it. You guys might recognize in my Emily and Friends series that I use this on like the street that they walk on sometimes. So you might definitely notice the front of this building, but I don't think I've ever showed you the inside. I do like to keep these little garbage cans in front of the window here. I think it just kind of adds a little bit to the front. I don't know if that's just me, but just like the last door, it also has a come in where open sign. And I don't think I mentioned this, but the last door also like doesn't actually open and this one doesn't either. It's just glued there so that doesn't actually work. But this one does have a window, which I really like about it. Now, if we actually head inside, we can see the inside of the store. I didn't glue anything in place because I wanted everything to be able to come off of the shelves. So yeah, everything does fall down really, really easily. Also, there used to be a window right here. I have no idea why I had a window there. It was like the most random thing. If we actually go back to the outside here, you can see where the window used to be. I was too lazy to cover up the outside because you barely see it. So right when you walk into the grocery store, there's this light switch, which is kind of random because I don't think we just have light switches just sitting right in the entrance of the doors, but that's there. This is the little cashier table. Um, this thing's just kind of temporarily here. I had a better one here originally, but I used it for my bakery. So I just am using this little makeshift one here. And then a couple little things like some magazines, some gum, some things you usually find right as you're walking out the door. And there are these little grocery bags as well, which I think are pretty cute. And then these little grocery baskets, which are honestly so easy to break. <laughs> Um, no, what I was gonna say is they're honestly so cute, but yes, they do break um, pretty easily because they are not the best quality just by looking at them. You can probably just tell. I just do think they are still pretty cute. I glued on every little piece of cardstock and painted it, which took the longest time ever. Now looking at the actual shelves, I kind of have like little categories here. Over here, we have more kind of food products and then that just that random row of like dog and cat food. Over on this shelf, we have more like objects like books and supplies and cleaning products, stuff like that. And then over here is kind of like the toy shelf. So all things, all the things over here are kind of for entertainment. So yeah, making all these things definitely did take forever. But overall, I actually kind of like how it looks. And even though this grocery store is not the most realistic and is pretty small, I definitely like it a lot better than the last building I showed you. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Next, we have my doll classroom. Now, this is actually just the outside of it because I did decide that I wanted to make some lockers and a door on the back of it just so it could be a nice little extra scene. And if you guys have watched my Emily and Friends series, you've definitely probably seen these lockers a couple times. Now, I also did give this room a bit of a makeover or I did kind of upgrade a little bit before I filmed this video. So you might notice a couple different changes to it compared to my last the last time you guys would have seen it which would have been in a emily and friends video so i also did i made this door a little bit better and more realistic but if we actually head over onto the inside we have a nice little science classroom and i am aware this is kind of small for a classroom <laughs> only four desks but I kind of like it to be honest, especially compared to how it looked before. It looked a lot worse in my opinion before. So I added a lots of different things like this desk, some posters in the back, this whole back counter area. This is another door that does not actually work. So it's just there for show. If you look over here, we have a little table. It's kind of like a little science table with some like science notes over here. And then I honestly love this. I just, I got this idea. I just randomly like i just wanted to make some little test tubes so i just think this is so cute so over here we have like periodic table of elements and some molecule stuff and four tables or four desks 
And then if we look back over here, none of these cabinets or drawers actually open, but I just think it looks better than a blank wall, which is how I had it before. Overall, I actually really like this room. And as you can probably already tell, they are slowly improving and getting better. At least that's what I think in my opinion. I'm definitely liking this one better than the last one. So yeah. So guys, this is my favorite store that I have out of the grocery store and the style boutique. I love this one so much. I have a video for it on my channel. If you guys want to make something similar to this doll bakery, I was inspired to make this from a place that I went to in Costa Rica. It was actually called the bakery, it had a sign just like this, and I don't know, it just, I loved that place I loved eating there so I was kind of inspired by that place so this is the outside of the shop there is a nice little bakery sign here some nice little plants in the window we have a working door which I think is so cool the first shop with a working door if we look over here we can see the nice little outside seating area and if I actually click if I actually turn on these little lights back here then we have working fairy lights there's also this cute little hanging plant. And what I think is really cool is that this little railing can be removed to take some closer up shots and rearrange things a lot easier. If we look a little closer in this outside seating area, you can see there's a window over here. And then there's actually a doorway that goes into the inside. In the back, there's this nice little shelf that has this little light box. It says the bakery on it. But as for the actual seating area, it, we have this nice little table with some cute little chairs. A nice little menu that says the bakery menu on it and has all the food and drinks to order. Although this restaurant only seats two people, I still think it's pretty cute. And then now let's head to the inside. Here's the inside of the store. Everything is in white brick. Honestly, I love white brick in my doll diorama, so you'll notice that a lot that I like to use them. Over here we have the little cashier area and a nice little display of all the little baked goods that you can buy. And the big menu is over here as well. And another little plant. You'll notice that I have lots of these little plants everywhere in this bakery because I just think they are so cute and I love adding greenery and plants to any doll diorama. Overall, I really love this doll bakery and it's definitely my favorite doll shop that I own. Let me know what you guys think about this doll bakery in the comments down below and make sure to watch the tutorial on how to make it. This is the next room that I'm going to be showing you guys. I love this room so much. I made it a little while back now, but I still love it so much. And it's kind of like a half kitchen, half living room space. So it's pretty large. So here is the kitchen area and all of the fridges and drawers and cupboards all open and closed. So that is super awesome. Even this oven here that I really love can open and close. And I think I watched how to make this from a fun and craft video. She's an awesome YouTuber, so I love her videos. And yeah, everything can open except for this one here and that over there just because it was kind of hard to make them work. But yeah, everything else opens. And then here's kind of like the eating area. So there's like two little spots to eat with these bar stool. Over here, we have a nice long mirror and some like pots on the ground with a plant. This is the living... This is the living space area. There's a nice little couch here with a picture and a little coffee table here. 
This couch gets so hairy, I actually just like use my little sticky roller to get off all of the hair because there was an Instagram post I took and I didn't realize until after I posted how hairy this couch was. I have a cat, so that's probably why, but uh, yeah. Also, one of my favorite features of this whole room is that this little hanging light here can actually turn on. Yes, it's hard to see because it's kind of dark, but it has a little light that's shining and I think that's so cool. The walls are all brick. I kind of originally wanted them to be like different colors, but it just kind of turned out being all brick. Like I mentioned earlier, I love the brick pattern, white brick. So you know what? I still love it. <laughs> Overall, I really like this big living space and definitely one of my favorite rooms or buildings that I have. For this next building, I had to move down to my floor because this actually doesn't fit on my desk. So sorry if you see the weird background and my carpet and stuff, but this is the front of a house. I always kind of wanted a nice front house scene for lots of different um, pictures and also for clips in the Emily and Friends series. So you'll probably recognize it from there as well. But basically there's just like a nice little driveway area, then some grass over to the right over here. We can see the front little porch area over here with some a little like flower bed over here. So for this area, we just have a nice little railing here. And it's actually pretty cool because there is a light under here that can turn on for a little porch light. There is a small little doorbell over here and the door does open to the inside. The handle's pretty weak though, so... Oh no. <laughs> I just broke it. Taking a look over at the garage door, this can actually open. It doesn't open like a normal garage door. But if you pull from behind, if I go behind here... It does open up if you just lift it up here and then kind of just lean it back onto some beams I have. So that is a pretty cool feature. You can see inside I do have this Barbie car, so I keep that stored in there. So anyways, let's go on to the inside of this house. To make things easier, these two um, like sections, like the garage and the porch, can actually separate. I have a little system rigged up here, so I can kind of separate them to make it easier to look at each room, so I'm gonna do that. Here's the inside of the front porch area. Honestly, it's pretty plain, pretty simple but still really cute and I actually still really like this a lot. I know I could probably add some, a couple more things to spice it up a little bit, maybe add some more plants and greenery, just some more decoration in general, but this is what it looks like for right now. There's a little mat right by the door here and a little plant. There's a nice little bench to sit down and take your shoes off with some pillows over here. And this is probably my favorite piece right here, this little shelving unit with some little hooks to hang some stuff. I think these hooks are adorable. They're just little q-tips with hot glue gun blobs on the end of them that were painted. And honestly, I just love them. Here's an example of what it looks like when you hang something on the little hook. Here's a little purse, and I just, I think that's so cute. So yeah, this is the little mudroom area, and I'm pretty happy with it and still really like it. Now for the inside of the garage. So this is definitely not the nicest looking room. I didn't really work too hard at it just because I knew I wasn't gonna be using it that much. So I do keep the car in here so that does take up most of the space. But if I take that out, then you can really just see how plain, simple, and kind of ugly <laughs> the garage is. I could have worked a lot harder on this. The wallpaper kind of got messed up so many times. So I eventually wanna redo that. Basically, it's super simple. There's just a nice ladder here. I actually do like this ladder, um, even though it is pretty flimsy because it's just made out of foam board and I just painted it. I have a little toolbox just randomly sitting here and a little rake. <laughs> Eventually, I kind of want to make some like shelves on the side here to put tools on and stuff, but I don't know what I'm going to get around to doing that. I mean, I think the garage is good for the purpose that I use it for, which is basically just storing the car and mainly for the looks on the outside of the garage. But eventually, I would like to get around to fixing up a little bit and making it look a little bit better. Mm -hmm. 
So for this next room, I actually had to move again because this is kind of like built into a shelving unit I have, so I couldn't really like bring it over to my desk. But I honestly love this room. This one and the next two rooms are all pretty tied for me. So I wanted to make a really big bed for this room because I feel like all the beds I had were really tiny. And I mean, I went all out. This is a pretty humongous bed. It takes up like the whole room almost. But I do really like it. It has a nice mattress underneath and a really nice comfy comforter. Again, if you guys have seen my Emily and Friends series, you've probably seen this room. I used it as Emily's room in the last episode. However, I think I might change which room Emily's is again. I know I'm changing it all the time. So I do apologize that in advance for the next episode, but nothing's confirmed yet. Over to the left here, I have this nice big window. Of course, it's not actually real because this is wood and I didn't want to like drill through it to make a window. So I just put a picture of like the city there and then there's these nice little curtains that are kind of tied up. There's two mannequins back here that have just some purses displayed on them and some jewelry as well. I have a little dresser over here with some fake drawers. On both ends of the bed, I do have some end tables with fake drawers. Um, actually, that one should have a plant on it. There we go. Honestly, I don't ever have an, enough plants. I'm always moving them around to rooms. So sometimes I'll be like, wait, I think there's a plant that's supposed to be there. I have these really cute posters that I actually hand drew myself above the bed. Those took forever to make though. So I just recommend printing them offline and then trimming them with black cardstock. That would be way easier. And then a little clothing rack with some clothes on it. And this part is probably my favorite part of the whole room. I actually just did this like yesterday not filmed i just did it quickly because there was nothing here before originally i had a vanity but i moved that to a new room so i wanted to make a desk to put here in its place so i think this is so cute it's all made out of foam board and i just made this little desk here with this little chair the chair does have like a nice little cushion on it there's just some small accessories on the desk and then these two nice shelves above so yeah that is this room one of my favorites i really really love it let me know what you guys think in the comments. So guys, this is the next room and honestly, I love this one. I know I might have been beating up some of the other rooms I did a while back, but I only really have positive things to say about this room. I just really love it. And this is a pretty decent sized room. You can probably tell that these walls are actually curving a little bit though because I attempted to make like realistic brick walls. Like I mentioned earlier, I love white bricks. So I wanted to try to make them look really realistic. So when I put on the layer of paint, it did kind of warp the cardboard, but I still think it's worth the look of the realistic bricks. Over to the left of the room, um, we have the little vanity. This is the vanity I was talking about that I took away from the last room just because I really loved it and I wanted it in this room. I have three little coordinating paintings above this little shelf here, which has a couple little accessories, including this little rock I painted. Also has a random little gold present in the shelf. Honestly, I have no idea why. The vanity is really cute. I have some little makeup stuff and a laptop here. Also, the drawer of the vanity does open. However, I don't actually open and close it too much. This little chair is so cute in my opinion. This was actually a pineapple phone holder from Claire's and I actually have a review for it on my channel a long time ago. But I redid the cover, I made it pink and then added this little pillow and I think it's really cute. I have this nice bookshelf. There's a nice big window over here. And this centerpiece can actually be removed in case I want it to be a bit of a like more open window or if I wanted to have that centerpiece in there. There's another clothing rack because I just think clothing racks are super cute and a great way to display doll clothes. Over here, we have a mirror and the little end table with a couple little things on there. And then I just have some cute little inspirational quotes once again above the bed but this time they are rimmed in gold and not black. Overall, I really love this room and it's definitely one of my favorites.
Here is the last room and probably my favorite out of all of the doll rooms and buildings that I have. If you guys haven't seen the video on my channel on how I made this doll room, make sure to go watch that because you can make a room just like this one as well. You can see once again how I used the white brick in this doll room because I just, I don't know, I love the white brick. It's such a modern nice vibe. <laughs> there are some seams on the walls that do kind of annoy me, but you don't really notice them when I take certain photos, so it doesn't bother me too, too much. These two photos above the bed, I did print out. No, I didn't write them out by hand because I kind of realized after the first time I did that, that it takes a while and it's much easier to just print them out. I made this cute little shelving unit that says hope. If you look hope, kind of like spelt weirdly. Then I have this little mannequin here with some clothes on that kind of coordinate with the room. This adorable hanging chair, which is probably one of my favorite features of the room. And I have also this little end table with a plant again. I love plants. There's a little rug hiding under here. I think I forgot to mention that I put a rug in this room in the tutorial video. So yeah, I just used some like shoelace and wrapped it around until it was made a nice rug shape. So I have a mirror here. It has like a weird texture to it because of like the certain cardboard I use. I have a plant, a book, and a little thing of like glitter. Nothing's on the shelf right now. Usually I put shoes in there, but if you guys watch my live, you'll, you'll know that I showed you all my shoes. So I just kind of stole them all from there and never put them back. <laughs> so now we have going out to the balcony. There are these sliding doors. Sometimes they can act up a little bit, but for the most part, they work pretty well. This is the balcony, which I honestly love so much. It's probably turned out to be my favorite part of the whole room. When you come out the sliding doors, then you'll have this nice little balcony here with a nice little shelf. So I really like this room, and honestly, it is probably my favorite room out of everyone that I have so far. And I do plan on making many more rooms and buildings, bigger things like that later in the future. And I will film them so you guys can watch them and maybe recreate them as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed me showing all of my doll rooms and buildings. Make sure to comment below which one is your favorite. Before we do end today's videos, the shoutouts for today go to Kylie Giulianto, Shia Callahan, and Elizabeth Emery. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Remember, if you want a shoutout, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DDSquad and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at underscore delightful dolls, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!